We just resized this 16 inch door hanger SVG to make a four inch Christmas ornament. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We often get asked, how do I resize or shrink an SVG while maintaining the proportions of the design? And will resizing affect the level of detail in the design? It might seem as simple as grabbing everything, selecting a corner, and shrinking the whole design. But there are a few things to consider. We're gonna show you how to shrink this 16 inch door hanger SVG down to this four inch Christmas ornament without losing a lot of detail and without it burning up. And we're only gonna use light burn. We're gonna download our SVG from kngmakeit.com. We can start by going to shop all products, we can go to laser cut ready at digital downloads. And at the top of the page, we have some instructions. So in our files, we use blue lines for score lines. Green lines are optional. I like to use them as a deep score. Our red lines are cut lines and black lines are engraved. We also have an example cut file. We'll use this filter to filter on Christmas. And we'll scroll down. I'm looking for one of our hot sellers so that we can make this into an ornament. Here it is, Merry Christmas. We'll add it to our cart, we'll go through checkout, and when we go through checkout, we'll receive an email that has our download links in it. So we'll download, we'll open it up, I'll extract it all. Now we're gonna make this an ornament using a light burn. So I'm gonna find my SVG that I want go with this one and I'm just gonna drag it in all right, I'm gonna select everything and center it so I can see it all slow it down how'd you just select everything so fast oh I did control a to select everything control a will select everything that's in this file now what I really want to do is I want to resize this down to four inches what is it right now should be 16. Well, this is 18. It's a little oh, over 18 old inches. Mm -hmm. Old file. All right. So I'm going to group these pieces, all the top pieces. I'm going to select them. Ooh, this is a good tip. You ready for a real hot tip? Now, if I drag from the bottom right to the top left, anything I touch will get selected. But if I drag from the top left to the bottom right, only things that are encapsulated by my selection will get selected. So I'm gonna grab everything. Make sure it's grouped by hitting Control G. I'm gonna grab everything here. Make sure it's grouped. We can group it up here or Control G. Now we'll grab this last one and make sure everything's grouped. I'm gonna grab all of these and I will align them H center, horizontal center. Now I know they're all in line and it's about 18 inches. I want this to be about four inches. So I'm just going to come up here with my aspect ratio locked. I'm going to change my height to four inches. And you can't do width because you've got three objects on there. Yeah, my width was way wider than my height. So I'm going to select the backer now to see what I actually have. Four inches, which means the highest part of this whole design was the backer. I think we're good to go. Perfect. All right. But we know now that I shrank it, a bunch of this stuff is gonna burn up. Like, look at these lights. These lights are tiny now. And like, I'll back it out to what actual size might be. And we can see like these little tails on the S's. I think they'll burn up. This little tail on the H will burn up. So we're gonna thicken everything up to make sure it doesn't burn up and get rid of some of these details that I'm pretty sure will also burn up. I'm gonna grab Merry Christmas and I'm gonna add an offset to it. Offset shapes. Now inside offset shapes, let's zoom in a little bit. I can zoom in by hitting my control key and using my scroll. On your mouse? On my mouse, mm -hmm. yes. All right, I'm gonna hit cancel because it doesn't look like I have everything selected. Now I'm gonna go back to offset. Now for my offset, I don't want to thicken it up too much. Right? If I just use these buttons, it's going to put a heck of an offset on it. I don't need something that big. 
I think I really only need like 0 0.01. I just want to thicken it up a little bit. And if you see right now, I have outward, so I want to make it bigger. My corner styles, I want corners. Like if I have a corner, I want it to look like a corner. If I round it off, it's going to round all my corners. Over here on options, I don't want outer shapes only. See, it's only got see, the outer shapes. See, it's just the outline of Merry Christmas. So uh -huh. we're going to uncheck this, and you'll see it caught all the stuff in the middle now. Inside of the A, inside of the R. Now when I hit OK, I want the object that I just created to be selected. I won't need the object that I started with, so I'm going to delete that. And then because I shrank it so much, I do want to make sure it gets optimized and simplified. I'm bringing those nodes together and sometimes they'll get wonky if they're too close together. So I'm going to leave optimize and simplified results checked. Now we'll hit OK. Yeah, it's slightly bigger now. And I think the H looks thicker. I think we're OK. I'm going to do the same thing to Merry Christmas over here since it's all grouped and selected. I'm going to start by giving it an offset. I'm going to use all of the same settings that I just used. So we'll say OK. But now all these lights in here, I think will still burn up. And I'm not going to, in the original design, I have all the lights so that they could come out. You can paint them any color you want without painting in the lines and put them back in. I think I'm just going to use a paint marker or something to paint these lights. So let's get rid of these. We're going to ungroup. I'm going to make it a singular person. Now I can hold shift and select each one of these. I'm trying not to select the other, the other outline because if I select the other outline, there's no going back. I have to start over. Once I have them all selected, I'm just going to hit my delete key. It looks a lot more simple now. Mm -hmm. But because I ungrouped it before to get rid of all those, everything's ungrouped. So if I grab this outline here and move it, you can see that it's just a bunch of little cut pieces now. So I'm going to hit Control Z to put my piece back. I'm going to grab everything and we're going to group it. Now finally my backer. I don't need these little ribbon slots anymore. But because I thickened up this light a little bit, it's going to overhang just slightly. So we are going to thicken up this backer. I'm going to ungroup. We'll make it a singular. Just going to grab these ribbon slots and hit my delete key. Now back here, I want to grab all of this red at the same time, but I don't want to grab the blue score line. So over here in my layers, I'm going to hide output and I'm going to hide show. Now I can grab all of this stuff and hit control G to group it. Back over here to my offset. I'm going to leave all the settings the same and OK. Now I can bring back my score lines. I need a way to hang it on the tree now. So I'm going to draw the little hanger part. I'm going to click on my ellipse tool. I'm going to start to draw my circle. I'm going to hold shift so I'll keep the aspect ratio locked. I'm going to let it go. Up here with height, I'm just going to make it half inch. Now from here, I'm going to hit control D, which will create a duplicate. Okay, let's go back to my selection tool. See, perfect duplicate right over top. Control Z to put it back. Well, it's still selected. I'm going to come up here and make it a quarter inch. Now I have a little hole, but I want to make this a real hole, so I'm going to select them both. And over here, I'm going to do minus or Boolean subtract. So now it should be all one object. I'm going to group these real quick down here in the backer group because I want to place this right in the middle. Grab them both. Align. Okay, now I'm going to ungroup these real quick. Ungroup grab the backer and my tab back over here to boolean unite Boop. there we go I grab everything and group it 
From here, most lasers you can cut directly from Lightburn. And we'll be using our Xtool P2S today, and we can cut from Lightburn with the P2 as well. But when you're cutting from Lightburn, you're not able to use the autofocus feature. So we found it's just easier to export your file as an SVG and we'll import it into Creative Space and use it in Creative Space as I would any SVG. So we'll call this Merry Christmas. Now we're going to import our ornament SVG into Creative Space. I'm going to go find the SVG that I just exported out of Lightburn. We're going to check the size. 4.35. All right, it came over at the right size. It's a little over four inches because we gave it the little tab on the top. Okay, now here I'm going to select my material. We're going to use some three millimeter birch plywood. It cuts easy, it cuts fast. Now we're going to set up our cut files so that our score and cut lines are correct. So we're going to select down here in the bottom left our blue layer. Now over here, we're gonna make sure we're on the score tab and I can see right here what kind of scoring I'll get. I'm gonna keep it with what it suggests, 220. 200 speed, 20% power. I'm gonna select the red layer now. We're gonna make sure we have our cut tab selected. And I'm going to, oop, I'm gonna go with the recommended value again. Okay. We're going to measure our material, aim to measure. I'm going to put it down here in the corner, so I'm going to aim over here. While it's measuring the corner, I'm going to move it down in the corner. All right, it came back with my measurements. This is what we're at. I have the honeycomb in there, so it's going to give me something a little larger than our eighth inch piece of material. I think we're ready to cut. Let's process and start. We have two examples. This is the actual 16 inch door hanger shrunk down to four inches. We didn't make any changes. You can see the ribbon holes are still there. The lights are still there with their frames and the inside pieces have fallen out at this point. They're but pretty burned up. Without making any changes to the file, you can see that this is just, it's just going to fall and flake apart. It is super thin. The letters have burnt up and it's not going to work as is. You can see the light strand is pretty thin. And it gets, because the cuts are so close together, that residue really builds up on the top. It looks darker and charred. Right, it's really changed the color of the wood. Now the one beside it is the file we modified in Lightburn. You can see here that we merged or we removed the inside of the frame so that the light bulbs are just part of the light strand. We thickened up the letters so that they are a little bit further apart when you're making the cut so it's not changing the color of the wood. And we added our ribbon hole hanger here at the top so that you can add some ribbon and hang your ornament. Let's give our new file a quick paint. We're gonna be using our Foxy Hughes paints. These are our outdoor acrylic house paints, so they're perfect for these door hangers, but they also work on interior projects because they are acrylic paint and they're gonna be great for this ornament. So we're gonna give this thing a quick paint, add a little star bond thick to glue the pieces together, wood to wood, and then add a little piece of ribbon so we can hang it. Pretty easy, right? Resizing things,
shrinking them down inside light burn, adding a little offset, pretty easy. Now, if you want to get into more detailed designs where we take apart a more detailed design to shrink it down and really fix it using Illustrator, I did that over there in Patreon. You should join us over there. Otherwise, we're about out of time. I have to go shrink a bunch more signs to make some more Christmas ornaments. You have to go try it out yourself. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. That is a great community over there. And we will see you guys over there in Illustrator. And we'll see you on Tuesday for another Test Cut Tuesday where we have a new design every week that we paint and chat.